There's always something pleasing about making your own bread, and this one is a corker. This is my sausage and cheese loaf. Perfect for them cold winter nights. Why not bonfire night? It's a meal in one. You just need some great quality bread flour, add a pinch of salt to that, and then we're just gonna warm up some simple ingredients. Some water, some milk. You can use semi-skim, but I quite like it full fat. Touch of sugar, the all-important yeast. We're just gonna warm this mixture through. It's really important not to have your mixture too hot because if you do, it'll kill the yeast and then you won't get a risen loaf. I'm gonna add, just for a little bit of added richness, a good glug of olive oil. Give it all a stir so the sugar and the yeast dissolve. When it's only just warm, off with the heat. And now we can start forming our dough. We're gonna slowly add the mixture Save a little bit back, just to make sure we get the right consistency of the dough. And at this point, I'm going in. Sticky finger time. Just combine all of the ingredients together. It's just roughly starting to come together. Next up, it's time to get the kneading. Get your dough. So we're just gonna do a rocking motion onto the top. And the more that I knead this, the stickier it's gonna start to get. What you're after is a lovely pliable dough. A couple more twists with the wrists. Gorgeous smell of the yeast, lovely and soft. And I'm gonna get myself a clean bowl now. We rest it and we leave it to come up and prove. So to do that, cover it in a tea towel and then leave it for 40 minutes to an hour or doubled in size. The topping is gonna to be wonderful quality sausages. So in they go. While those sausages are sizzling away, it's time for me to get the rest of my dough ready. A lovely, double in volume bread dough. Fantastic. Just gonna check the sausages. You only wanna color them up. You do not need to cook them all the way through because obviously it's gonna go in the oven. These guys are looking great, so off with the heat and I'm gonna leave them off to one side. While they're cooling, let's sort out this bread. I'm gonna get some flour and then push down into the bread. Scrape it off the edge of the bowl. A touch of flour on the worktop. Out with the dough. And just give it all a good shape up again. Flour rolling pin up. And it's a very, very rough looking rectangle. Now, to cook your dough, today I'm using a non-stick baking sheet. Now, if you've got one at home that's been used for a little bit, of course, just put some baking parchment over the top of the sheet to make sure it doesn't stick. We're gonna get that dough to roughly fit three quarters of the tray. So I'm just gonna put the dough over there. The sausages are cooled ever so slightly, and it's as simple as this. Sharp, clean knife, whack the sausages in half. Right, sausages are looking good. Get your fingers and just do some rough indentations into the dough. Now, all we do is grab some sausage pieces, give them a good push into the dough. Okay, and I'm gonna get some of this shop for onion chutney, couple of dollops randomly placed around your sausages. We've also got some wonderful pungent rosemary that we're just gonna stick in randomly around the sausages, then also, good old generous scatter of cheddar cheese. I've got an oven preheated 30 to 35 minutes. Sausage and cheese love. And there you have it. A wonderful sharing bread. You can eat it any time of year. Perfect though on a cold winter's night. My sausage and cheese loaf.